Good day everyone, hanging out here at my shop outside of Junction City. We'll call it Coach Solutions. We can even call it Customs Unlimited when we're working on mini trucks. But that's a different story. You can hit me up at Brian Moto 773 if you have any questions or anything like that, a Gmail or Instagram. But this is gonna be part two of the video. I'll put a link below for the video of yesterday of doing two inverter installs in a 2009 slash 10 slash the second to last country coach ever produced so here is the front of this hot rod i know we got a little sun pop in there and then next to it we've got the holiday rambler scepter that's here for a pdi inspection they just bought it and then take care of all the founderings so a little monaco product here slash holiday rambler but back to the point here on this super cool rear bath one-off magna that we're doing the inverters in so we'll climb in the inverter bay we're going to start out with putting in the silver leaf adapter modules for the two magnum inverters that were installed yesterday and then we've got the silver leaf module over there that just got updated and came back from silver leaf we'll get that secured and then i'm going to terminate the last of these wires and get them into these displays we'll go inside real quick and show you the locations and displays for this so here is the dash display that just came back from silver leaf and got updated for the magnum inverters we just did that kenwood halo install and then we've got the house display that's right here that's going to be the newer touch screen style and that goes here in the hall location so we'll get the bay done first then we'll come up inside and get that taken care of and we'll give you also we're going to do a um, attic fan thermostat installation in this video also in that inverter base you have a variable settings compared to the 110 degree snap disc or incorrectly wired snap disc that country coach did a lot of times in production so we'll cover that also so uh let me get a few things done and we'll get back into this video and then we'll get you some closer and whatnot but thanks Again, everybody that's been taking the time to subscribe, watching the channel, I'll get some more walkthroughs done, but I want to get some tech videos out there just for the future of tech support. So here we go. So the silver leaf components are installed downstairs. I've come inside. I've got the display in here. I'm actually going to tighten up a couple screws here and get this thing secured the rest of the way in the cabinet. And then... He did change out his uh, silver leaf, not a silver leaf, the factory solar panel controller with a Victron because he did the lithium ion batteries. So we've got the inverter set for lithium. He's got his new display here. We've made this panel out of a piece of ABS to be able to fill the void. Get a couple more screws in there. It looks like he didn't get those installed. That's kind of his little baby there, but I'll go dig up some screws, make sure they match. So there's the display. As you see, charger on, charger on, absorption charge, 14 volts, AC power. For some reason, this particular surge guard is not sending out serial com communications for the silver leaf to read it. We had silver leaf checked to make sure the serial port was working, and they say it's working. So I'm going to do a little more investigating in there. Um, and then you'll see here we've got standby and standby on those. And then I'll get this display put in the dash here, here in a few more minutes. But I wanted to take you outside here, give you the hibbity-dibbity on the uh, <clears throat> installation of that attic fan before I got too far and too carried away on it. So we'll climb back here into the belly of the beast. And in the very back corner above the inverters, which are a little loud right now, they're kicking along, you'll see that snack disc thermostat. And it's got a common and a normally open and normally closed. <clears throat> a lot of times the technicians at the factory would wire both these, so they don't wouldn't work at all. 
Sometimes they'd wire it so it ran until it got hot, this, that, and the other. So anyway, we're gonna bypass that. So I've taken both the wires off of there. I pulled them back a bit. I've got them pulled to here. So this is gonna be the 4810 indicating which wire number that is for the fuse on the inside for the fuse for down here. And then this, the 4010 is gonna be your output. Now this is gonna be a 2008 and newer coaches will be four digit. The other ones will be different. Here is your attic fan thermostat. It says it's 110 volts. Yes, it will do 110 volts. But once you open it up, it's just two simple wires and a snap disc. So I've pulled the ground stud off of there so when I mount it, the screw that is here for factory for grounding it at a house is gone. I've hung the two wires out of the side. I'm just gonna simply bell cap these two wires together. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna simply mount it after I drop it a couple more times. I'm gonna mount it to that steel bar on the very top of the ceiling with some self tappers. Then I'm gonna rotate the knob until it says approximately 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna be all done with that. So that's the gist of it. I've got those silver leaf adapters mounted here, one and two. Mounted the, numbered those, numbered these, so that way when one goes down, you're seeing the information from one and so on and so forth. I'm gonna zip tie those wires up, get them all tidied, zip tie these 110 wires up. Mount this silver leaf module now that it passes. And uh, be done with this job. And there's where he changed out the uh, factory solar controller to go to that Victron there. He's got his solar disable switch and so on and so forth. So Jerry's done a really good job. Help him out, talk to him on the phone, get him lined out, and he does some installation stuff himself. But all right, everyone, I think that's enough rambling on with tech support. So there is how you do those silver leaf adapters. You just I shorten up the remote cables, plug them into there, then wire them into the network, have Silverleaf do your updates and so on and so forth. Call ahead, talk to Mark or one of those guys, get your numbers for the return authorization and then that way they know what's going on. But all right, everyone, that's enough. I hope you all have a great day and are enjoying me getting some videos out, some more technical stuff. And uh, we're gonna do some things here, talk about the slide rooms and whatnot on this coach next. So. Keep uh, watching and subscribing. If you need anything, hit me up at brianmoto773 at gmail.com or hit me up at brianmoto773 Instagram. So, all right, everybody. And if you don't get back, just keep hitting me up. I'm a busy guy, but it doesn't mean I don't want to help you out. Till next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.